Does anybody in the Vortex have sciatica? Do you guys know what that is? Do you guys know what it does? I mean, I haven't been diagnosed with sciatica because apparently they have to run even more tests in order to prove what I can prove just by looking online, reading, and paying attention to my symptoms. Now, I know that there are a lot of symptoms that could possibly be a lot of different things. Yet another issue that I have with the whole medical profession because they don't seem to have any real answers for anything. But I guess that's not entirely their fault. I mean, it's just easier for people to go along with the system than it is for them to fight it. You know? I realize that shit. But I'm still allowed to be perturbed. So, anyway. I have pain that starts in my ass. Typically my left ass cheek. Not not even my ass cheek. It's like it, it's, it's like in the in the uh, is it the bone or the muscle or whatever the fuck. I feel it in my ass, okay? And then it, it moves to my one of my legs. Usually my left leg, but sometimes my right leg. And it, it travels down. And, and I feel that all throughout the day. And sometimes I feel it when I sleep. It's not as bad when I sleep though. I know, I know people that have it way worse than me and they talk about how it makes it really difficult to sleep. Now I'm very blessed in that I still get my ZZZs. Cause I can handle a lot. I mean, so many people in America especially and I think it's because of all the crap that's in our products. So many people here deal with chronic pain, you know? And I deal with it too. I've dealt with it since, well really since I started doing comedy. Since I started following God's will, then I developed like whatever the fuck, fibromyalgia, something like that. But, it's funny a lot of doctors like don't believe that fibromyalgia exists. Probably because it's like the fucking uh, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it when it when it could just be like a lot of different things? It's like autism, you know. It's like if if you if you're just kind of weird or you're just kind of awkward or you know you're addicted to your phone or you're addicted to your computer or you're addicted to playing video games or some shit. It's like, okay, now you're autistic. Like anybody and everybody can identify as autistic. It's, it's kind of like that. Like I feel like with fibromyalgia, if, if you can't pinpoint like what's going on with you, you just say it's fibromyalgia, you know? Because that, that talks about chronic pain and it's all these different symptoms. Like it's, it's like 15 different symptoms. You know how they, they uh, had like a list of symptoms for uh, COVID and a lot of these symptoms were like, you know, flu symptoms or like radiation poisoning symptoms. Um, yeah, well, they kept changing that shit in order to like freak people out, make them think that they had COVID because it was like, you know, something completely different. Like, oh, do you cough occasionally? Yeah, you, you might have COVID. You should go get a test. You know, do you do you ever feel fatigued? You might have COVID, you should go get a test. Do, do you uh, sniffle? Do you ever sniffle? Sometimes do you, do you sniffle? Well, you should definitely get a test because you probably do have COVID and you're gonna die if you don't get a test, you know? Anyway. <laughs> like, basically, if the pharmaceuticals wanna, if the pharmaceutical companies wanna make money off of you, all they have to do is scare you into taking their, their products, okay? So like, I would just rather uh, use plants than pills. But I mean, I know that, that like it's definitely um, similar. Like, you know, they have all these synthetic cannabinoids now. Um, 
But keep in mind, it's like they had to use labs to like study cannabis in general. Unfortunately, that's just how it works. And they'll definitely use laboratories before they do it the way that they're supposed to, the way that God intended. But, uh, yeah. It's not surprising at all. And it's also not surprising that the people that smoke pot and eat pot and use pot for all kinds of things, all kinds of reasons, like, it's no surprise that they don't give a shit about it. You know? <laughs> Because, yeah, most people, they just, like, reap the benefits of something. They don't actually appreciate that something at all. And I guess that's why I, I hate everything so much. You know, because I just see this total lack of appreciation, this total lack of understanding. And I definitely see it online more than anywhere else. Um, I hate even talking about it, but I feel like I should talk about it because it's been something that is just weighing me down, man. Every single time I go back online to, you know, do my stuff... My YouTube stuff, my Rumble stuff, it's the same stuff. Only YouTube doesn't let me put up certain videos though. Because it'll it'll uh, get mad at me because of some shit that I say. Or um, sometimes it's because of the copyright. <laughs> copyright infringement. Yeah, we don't give a shit. If you're gonna hear our music, damn it. When I say my music, I'm not talking about my music specifically the one that I make that I don't consider to be music because I, I would never call what I do music so when I say my music I'm talking about Miles Davis I'm talking about John Coltrane I'm talking about fucking uh, Jefferson Airplane or um, the Allman Brothers Band you know what do I listen to what else, what else do I listen to The Clash The Sex Pistols um Dude, I think I'm gonna play the Pixies next. I feel like, I feel like listening to the Pixies. Um, but, uh, yeah. I mainly play jazz, though. I've noticed that. Jazz and, um, Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac, the band. Oh, yeah, we were playing the band for, like, a whole month, I think. At least it felt like a month. But, uh, you know, I actually feel like listening to Sarah Vaughn. Okay, so Sarah Vaughn and the Pixies. So it was it's a really, really weird combination. But <laughs> I need another one. I feel like I could totally make a thing out of this, but I wouldn't be able to... Uh, like, if, if anything got big with me and YouTube, I wouldn't even be able to monetize it because of how much... Oh shit, my garage door. Luxury problem, luxury problem. <laughs> it is definitely a luxury problem. Anything that involves a garage door opener is a luxury problem, okay? Yeah. I have all this like alcohol related like memorabilia. But I don't drink anymore. But like I said, that's how it really looks, you guys. Notice it's not circular. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Bob Marley. How could I forget Bob Marley? I play I play Bob Marley for a while. Okay, I can't I can't focus on Janice because Janice's tits are hanging out. Which is so like Janice, is it not? Oh yeah, tits. Fuck. I'm I'm zooming in on the wrong thing. I love the Pixies. I love them so much. That's actually not my favorite album by them, though. So for Rose, it was really good. Do Little. Do Little. No, Come On Pilgrim. P Come On Pilgrim always be my favorite, because the first is usually the best. First or the second album. But yeah. And you know that was Tupac over there. That was Tupac praying. 
huge inspiration of mine. 